Magnesium plays a crucial role in bone health, but should you take it as a supplement? In today's supplement video, we'll have a look at magnesium and bone health and things to consider when deciding whether to take magnesium as a supplement or not. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrated Nutrition. I'm also a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific to osteoporosis and yoga. And I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor. I'm on a mission to reduce the number of osteoporotic fractures that happen each year. And I'm glad to have you with me on the journey to better bone health. Magnesium is another mineral like calcium and it can actually compete with calcium for absorption in our bodies. For this reason, I recommend taking these supplements separately from each other if possible. Magnesium is needed for more than just bone health. It's also helpful for our heart health, and in some ways it acts as a gatekeeper for calcium, preventing it from accumulating in our soft tissues and our arteries and organs. When magnesium is low, our bodies are more inclined to deposit the calcium into our soft tissues rather than our bones. Having chronic stress can contribute to magnesium depletion, which makes it important to lower our stress levels to protect our magnesium levels. Magnesium, similarly to vitamin D, also helps our muscles to stay strong, which helps us to move more easily and to reduce our fall and fracture risk. There's a general rule of thumb with calcium and magnesium supplements. Our bodies need there to be a balance between the amount of calcium and magnesium that we take. We want to take in general about half as much magnesium as we do calcium. This is my personal preference, but I'm a fan of calcium supplements in the morning and magnesium supplements in the evening. This is because magnesium supplements can also help with sleep. Magnesium helps to stimulate melatonin production in our bodies. It also relaxes our muscles and helps to reduce our stress levels. All of this contributes to getting a better night's sleep. Something to be aware of is that magnesium can also create digestive issues. It can give you diarrhea if you take it in large quantities. The daily recommended amount of magnesium to take is somewhere between 300 and 450 milligrams per day. You'll notice that this is closer to a third of the amount of the recommended calcium for the day that I, I said the general rule of thumb is to take about half as much magnesium as calcium. So this is because in all likelihood, you don't need to take a full 1200 milligrams of calcium. You probably get a good amount of calcium through your diet, even if you don't get all of it from your diet. And the supplement that you take should reflect what you actually need rather than just to take the full daily amount. You may also find that you don't need to supplement magnesium because it's available in so many foods. Food sources for magnesium include dark leafy greens, nuts and seeds, whole grains, beans, fish, fruits, dark chocolate, and tofu. That's a large list and quite a variety of foods and you're probably getting a good amount of magnesium from your diet, which would mean that you may not need to supplement this particular mineral. If you do choose to take a magnesium supplement, look for a magnesium citrate. Similar to calcium, the citrate will help your body to better absorb magnesium. If you found this video helpful, please share it with someone that you know and love. And also, if you'd like to have a more in-depth look at nutrition for better bone health, I will be hosting a six-week live nutrition workshop. And you can get more information about the workshop in the video description down below this video. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.